Um, Minister, I'd like to ask you if you would consider changing the way in which job seekers' benefit is paid to casual and part-time and temporary workers on reduced hours, how it is calculated before it's paid based on, at the moment, on the number of days worked um, rather than on the level of income that those people receive, that any supplementary income they get from the state is based on the days that they work rather than the income they receive because... Um, as I will come to argue with you later on, I'm increasingly coming across a lot of people who are below the poverty line and who cannot receive uh, support income because of the way in which the payment is calculated. Uh, IT ramifications with regard to First providing platform to work Deputy on Smith. the system. Uh, if I'm hearing you correctly, you're answering the wrong question because I'm not asking for the system to be changed based on the hours worked, but rather on the income received for the, for the, for the time that is worked. So let me give you an example. At the moment you have to be um, uh, employed for a certain amount of days and you'll receive supplementary income for, let's say, two days that you don't work. But uh, if you work, um, let's say, 15 hours over five days, three hours a day, and you work them over five days, and you're on 130 uh, euro for that from your employer, um, you will receive the part-time workers' initiative for up to one year. What happens to you after the year? And I have a, a recent case of a cleaner of a famous shop in Ballyfermot who was told all of a sudden you're gone off this uh, supplementary payment that social protection were giving you of 120 a week um, because the year is up and we're no longer going to pay it to you. So this very distressed woman came to me and I went to the Intrio office and they extended it for two months. This month that, this month, that month is up, uh, that time is up and she will now be living in the poverty line or have to give up her job because her boss is not willing to pack all those hours into two or three days. It doesn't suit him. And it increasingly doesn't suit employers to suit workers. And workers Deputy, have been no, forced have into precarious Minister, hours Minister. where the advantage is to the Deputy employer Smith, to order, and the disadvantage please. is to the worker. You can't exceed the time on another man. My question to be answered in terms of the, the income that's received rather than in the level of hours they work. That's the change I think we need to make. That we look at the income that people are getting from their job and we supplement that income, not based on the days that they work or the hours that they work. Because increasingly, Ireland is becoming a low paid economy. We earn lower wages than most of the other developed 15 uh, uh, European Union co um, countries. 38% uh, of part time workers are earning low pay. And low pay is defined in, in, in a way in this country that we're increasingly seeing people falling into a poverty trap. They're not able to receive a living wage. They might be on the minimum wage, but they're certainly not able to receive uh, a minimum wage, even combined with the payments from social protection. And now we find there's man anomalies where they're not able to receive those payments. And it does not suit the employer to rearrange their hours to suit uh, you as the social protection minister, or indeed the person who's in receipt of poverty earnings. So that has to be looked at and it has to be changed.